guiding your practice today with yoga. Yoga is an ancient tradition over 5,000 years old um, and from India. And yoga comes from the ancient Sanskrit word for yoke, to bring together. And so I like to see this as an opportunity for us to come to a immediate direct connection with reality in this moment, with our experience right now. So you can join along with me. Um, don't worry if you're new, just do your best. And if you are a little more experienced, I'll give you options that you can then implement into your practice. We'll focus on breathing and alignment throughout the class. And I hope you have a great class. All right, so we get started now, just coming into a standing position at the front of our mat. And starting here in our mountain pose, we're gonna begin by just letting our tailbone tuck under, feeling it kind of scoop underneath the hips. So with eyes softly closed, let's take a few deep, slow breaths through the nose. Feel the connection as the breath flows in and out. Palms together at the heart into a namaste. Chest coming to meet the thumbs. Thumbs come to touch the chest. We'll begin our class now from this mountain pose with our sun salutations. Sun salutations or Sudhi Namaskar is a series of postures that we do to help strengthen and stretch the entire body, prepare, preparing ourselves for class. <clears throat> so beginning with our next inhale, let's now swing the arms up over the head. Palms come together over the head and gazing up. From here, we're going to exhale and open arms as we fold from the hips to swan dive gently down over the legs and relax the neck. Next inhale, then bringing the spine halfway up with a flat back. Fingers can rest on the shins or the mat. Exhale, fold again. From here, we'll let the bend the knees a little bit. Hands gently plant flat. And we're going to inhale the right foot steps back. To bring your knee to the ground here, sinking into the hips. Shoulders can draw back and down. Feel like your heart is opening, hips sinking down, gazing softly up. Then we'll plant the hands flat to the floor again. Tuck your back toes. With the next inhale, we're going to bring both feet back to a plank pose, finding a straight line from the heels out to the crown of the head, shoulders lined up over the wrists. From here with our next exhale, we're going to gently bend down to the knees, arching the back. We're going to try to line the center of our chest up between or maybe a little behind the hands. Elbows tucking into the body for the knees, chest, chin, or eight point salute. Notice the hips will stay a little bit off the mat. From here we're going to tuck our toes. As you're ready, lifting the hips back up into the down dog with fingers spread wide. Let the tailbone lift high, let the heel sink down. You might kind of feel just really lengthening out the spine, heart opening towards the floor, head and neck relaxed. Good, if you want, you can even take a moment here to softly maybe bend one knee at a time, beginning to loosen up any tension along the backs of the legs, knees, thighs, calves, feet, hamstrings, and so forth. Continue that deep, conscious breath through the nose throughout the class. Now let's just come back into a nice straight line, feet parallel, tailbone lifting high, head and neck relaxed. Next inhale, let's step the right foot all the way back up between the hands, left knee to the ground, and sink the hip. Now notice if your foot didn't quite make it, between the hands, you can always option grab the ankle with the right hand and pull the foot forward back to where it started. So you just want to feel this giving a nice opening in the hips, heart as well, shoulders draw back. Next exhale then, we'll step both feet forward and fold over the legs, head and neck to the right. From here, let's inhale, reverse swan dive, heart lifting us up, palms come together, gazing up. And exhale, you can release the arms out and gently bring those palms back to the heart into our mountain pose. 
Good. Let's say those together. Swing the arms up. Palms come together. And then exhale. Swan dive. Softly fold over the mat. Good. And once again, we're going to inhale our spine halfway up with flat back. Fingers on shins or mat. And exhale. Fold. Now bend the knees. Let's inhale the left foot back. Knee gently to the ground, sink the hips and knees and up. Plant the hands flat then from here. We're going to inhale both feet back to plank once again, finding a straight line. This time we could exhale down either knees, chest, chin like we did before. Or if you want challenge, you could try chaturanga by keeping upper body straight and bending only the elbows. From here we could inhale to either cobra or challenge up dog. Up dog is simply lifting the heart up, arms straight, weight comes off the uh, thighs onto the knees or the tops of the feet. From here we'll then exhale, lift the hips back up into the down dog with fingers spread wide and just lengthening out through the heels. Take a deep breath. Good. Now with our next inhale, let's step the left foot Back up between the hands, again, knee to the ground, sink your hips and gazing up. Good. Exhale, both feet forward as we fold, head, neck, relax. Next inhale, we'll reverse swan dive, heart lifting us, palms together over the head. And this time, let's just exhale, go ahead, open and swan dive back over the legs, head, and neck, relax. Next inhale again, spine lengthening halfway up. And exhale, fold. Again, we'll bend the knees. Inhale, right foot back, knee to the ground. This time you could hold the breath as we step both feet into the plank pose. And again, exhale down to either chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, then either up dog or cobra. And exhale, lift hips back up to your down dog. Fingers spread wide. Good. Lengthening the spine long. Make sure the head stays relaxed. So you're kind of gazing in towards your belly button. Tail, tailbone lifting high. And spread those palms flat to the floor. This time, we're going to inhale now. Step the right foot up between the hands. This time, keep the back leg straight. As we turn out the back foot, we'll then go ahead and lift the arms up into our warrior one. The first warrior today. Notice the front knee bending deeply, back leg straight. Take a moment if you want, bring the hands back to your hips and feel like your right hip crease can tuck back and in a little more, left hip crease a little forward, but keep that back leg as straight as possible. Then arms back up alongside the ears, nice and straight. Shoulders are drawing down away from the ears. Take another deep breath in here. Next exhale, let's open out to warrior two. With warrior two, same thing with the legs, back leg is straight, front knee bending deeply. Arms out, parallel to the floor, palms down. As you gaze forward now, out over the right hand, take a moment and look down, make sure you can see the big toe inside of the front knee. So we always want to have this front knee opening out, so you get a nice opening here. Hips, shoulders, arms extending actively, and breathe deeply. Next up, so let's go ahead and shift the upper body back, release the left hand down, turn the right hand up, and reach over the head towards the back of the room into a reverse or peaceful warrior. Same thing, legs, still warrior legs, back leg straight, front knee bending deeply, arms stretching out towards that back wall. Take a nice deep breath here. Next exhale, now we're going to shift the upper body forward, reach out through the fingertips, and either releasing the forearm to rest on your thigh with a little shelf, or if you feel like it, you could even bring the fingers to the floor inside the foot. Left arm comes alongside the ear towards the front of the room. Stretch out through those fingertips and begin to maybe roll the heart open under the arm as you gaze up on the inside of the arm. Take a nice deep breath. Next exhale then, we're just going to bring your hands back to the floor on both sides of your foot. Inhale the body into plank. Exhale from here, either chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, either cobra or up dog. And exhale, hips lift back into the down dog. Fingers spread wide, palms flat. Let your tailbone lift up, neck relax, and take a deep breath. 
Good. Now, next inhale, we're going to step the left foot back up between the hands. Now turn out your right foot. So the foot flat to the floor. Arms again up alongside the ears into the high lunge. Sit deep here in the hips. Again, let's take a moment. Hands on the hips. And for warrior one, that left hip crease is going to tuck back and in. Right hip crease a little bit forward. Eventually squaring hips off with the front of your mat. Arms get up straight parallel. Draw the shoulders down. Take a nice deep breath here. Next, let someone open up for warrior two. And notice for this one, you can have the option of separating the feet a little wider apart, getting a nice opening in our hips. The tailbone is tucking under, arms extending out, chin might eventually line up out over the left middle finger. Take a deep breath here. Next, that's something to shift the upper body back again, drop the right hand down, let's get over the head, reverse. Warrior, stretching back. Notice there's not much weight on this right hand, just kind of hanging out. It's just kind of guiding us, allowing our heart to roll open. Its fingertips stretch back a little longer. Take a deep breath. And on the exhale, shift forward. Reach out through your fingertips. Once again, we can just let this forearm rest on the thigh. Or if your hips are more open, you might try bringing fingertips on the inside of your foot. Right on alongside of your stretch out through those fingertips. Heart rolling over the knees and up inside the arm for a deep, slow breath. Reach out. Stretch. And now we're going to exhale. Hands can come back to the floor. Inhale again to plank. Exhale to chaturanga or knees chest. Again, inhale either up dog or cobra, your choice. And exhale back to down dog. Fingers spread wide. Let the tailbone lift, let the neck relax, and take a deep breath. Good. Now our next inhale, let's step the right foot forward, knee to the ground, sink the hips, knees and up. Exhale, then both feet forward to fold and relax the neck. Next inhale, let's reverse the swan dive again, lifting up, palms together. And again, we're going to exhale, just swan dive all the way over the legs. Inhale the spine halfway up top. And exhale, palms bend the knees. Now inhale, left foot back, knee to the ground. Again from here, hold the breath. Both feet come to plank. Exhale to chaturanga or knee, chest tilt. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale back to the down dog. Fingers spread wide. Remember to breathe as you go. Lengthening long now. This time we're going to inhale, lift the right leg up straight towards the back of the room and the down dog slips. Now try to keep this uh, right leg internally rotated so that our toes will point straight down towards the earth. But the leg comes nice and straight. Tailbone lifted, heart sinking down. Take a deep breath in. Next up, so we can swing that foot up between the hands. This time, keeping our back heel off the mat, back leg straight. We're now going to just lift through the core up into a high lunge. So for the high lunge, we want to keep that tailbone tucking. If you at all feel any crunching in the lower back, take a moment to bend the left knee a little more. Tuck your tailbone under. Feel it scooping under. So we create some space in our lower back. And then bring the left leg as straight as you can. Really power the leg out. Arms then back up alongside the ears parallel and shoulders just drawing down. Gaze up softly. For a couple deep breaths. Good. Now remember, if you need to take a break, you can always bend the knee to the floor. Otherwise, we're going to keep the legs straight, take a deep breath in, exhale, we're going to bring palms to the chest, and now twisting to the right side. Hook the elbow around the outside of your thigh, and then begin to press. That right palm deep into the left. Back leg still straight, and then slowly turning the gaze up towards the ceiling in our prayer twist. Breathe deeply here for a few moments. Feel that each breath allows our spine to lengthen a little longer. Exhale, we'll begin to twist a little bit deeper. Good. Next exhale, now we're just going to release the fingertips on both sides of the front foot. From here, inhale, grow the spine long. We're going to turn out our back foot. When you're ready, cartwheel the arms up back to our warrior two. So again, sitting deep in the hips here, tuck your tailbone, reach out through fingertips. 
Next inhale, right leg comes up straight. Exhale now, shift upper body to the right. Stretch out through your fingertips first. Then release the right hand to the shin, ankle, or foot. Slide down to where you're comfortable. Now we need to open the heart up towards the ceiling. Left thumb up, gazing out towards your left thumb for a few slow, deep breaths here. Triangle pose, giving a nice stretch to the hip, strengthening upper body as you gaze up. Kind of keep that gaze light and focused on the thumb, the drishti, helping keep the energy cycling in our body. Drishti is gaze. Let's take one more deep breath here. Next exhale, let's release, bend the knee, bring both hands to the floor. From here, we'll then inhale back to plank, and again, exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, up dog or cobra, and exhale back to down dog. Fingers spread wide, we have a lift and then take a deep breath. Good. Next thing, then on the left leg, it's going to come up straight towards the back of the room in the down dog. Split. Feet flat, toes point straight towards the earth. At that leg, you begin to straighten out as much as you can. Keep the heart opening towards the floor, and the neck is relaxed. Take another deep breath as you lift high. Then exhale, swing the foot up between the hands. Once again, back heel will stay off the mat. And when you're ready, we're going to lift up into that high lunge. So for a high lunge, again, back leg as straight as possible. Feel free to bend the back knee, tuck your tailbone more, and then bring that leg straight. Arms are coming up straight. Notice if your elbows are bending at all, you can always bring them forward to straighten your arms out, and then lift them back up towards the ceiling. When you feel tension in the shoulders, just keep them there and draw the shoulders down. Create that space, that openness between the ears and the shoulders. Again, remember, if you need to ease up here, you can always bend the knee to the floor. Or keeping legs straight, we're going to take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, we're going to bring palms to the chest. Now this time, twisting to the left side. Hook the elbow around the outside of the thigh. Once again, deep breaths here as we begin to press the left palm deep into the right and turn the gaze up towards the ceiling. Feel that breath helping us to create some space along the spine so that with each exhale, Begin to twist just a little deeper up. Use the breath. Back leg straight. Good. The next exhale with control, let's bring our fingertips on both sides of the foot. Inhale, grow the spine long. Then turn out the back foot from here. We'll once again cartwheel up to our warrior two. Find your stability here first. Then the next inhale, once again, left leg is straightening out. Exhale, shift to the left, reach out. And then release the hand on the shin, ankle, foot, or fingers to the floor. Heart opening as we reach out towards the ceiling. Keep in mind, there's a tendency here to kind of lean forward. See if you can continue to lift the heart open over the leg. So eventually we feel like we can line up our joints of the wrists, ankles, hips, and shoulders. It's all in one continuous plane. Even the breath. Good. Next exhale, let's bend the knee again. Bring the hands to the floor. From here, we'll inhale once again to plank. Exhale either chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale either up dog or cobra. And exhale back to the down dog. Fingers spread wide. Deep in your breath. Full, slow breaths here as we lengthen body long towards the back of the room. You might begin to imagine as though the heels even have like roots growing out of them that are kind of sinking a little deeper into the floor. Good. Now our next inhale, let's step the left foot back up between the hands, right into the ground, and sink through the hips. Then we'll exhale both feet forward to fold with head and neck relaxed. Once more, we inhale, reverse, swan dive, lift the heart, palms together, and let's again exhale, open all the way over the legs. Good. Inhale, your spine long and flat, prepare. Exhale, fold, bend the knees. This time, we could either walk or maybe, using a strong core, we could lift and float the feet back to plank. Either way. Exhale down, either chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, either 
uh, up down north, Cobra. This is Cobra. Let's sell that to the ground down here, right? Remember, it's always up to you what feels right to your body today. Notice that every day we may have a little different experience, and that's fine. Next inhale, once again, lift the right leg up and back straight towards the back, and then lift high. Exhale, swing the foot up between the hands. From here, we'll once again turn out the back foot. This time, we're going to carve the back up to our warrior two. Inhale, exhale, shift back, reverse warrior. All the way back, stretch through the fingertips. This time, we're going to inhale the right leg straight, reverse triangle, stretch out. Keep those legs straight, but stretch. And the next exhale, let's again shift upper body forward. Release that right hand again, shin, ankle, foot, or wherever it fits on your body. This time, you could challenge the body by exhale, bring that left arm alongside of your towards the front of them, extended triangle. Then inhale, arm back up towards the ceiling. You could exhale the hand behind the body, maybe grabbing the inside of the thigh. If you can't reach there, just grab the fabric of the pants or the shirt. That's fine as well. From here, we're then just going to lift our heart for a moment and then preparing ourselves for the half moon. Half moon will start by bending the right knee. Step your back foot in a little bit. Right fingertips are going to come about six inches in front and to the outside of the right foot. From there, just Bring the weight into your right foot and lift the left leg up as high as you can. Take your time. This is fine if you want to stay here. No problem. You could also maybe eventually bring the left arm up as well. If you feel good and balanced, you could from here even begin to slowly turn the gaze up towards that lifted thumb. Still breathing a slow, deep breath as best you can. If you're looking for a challenge here, you could begin to even maybe lift a little less weight into the right fingertips. Maybe keep that back leg lifted here, getting a nice opening in the hips. Full deep breaths for just a few moments. And with control, we're going to exhale, bend this right knee. Maybe your left, arm can, left hand can kind of swoop down and then swing the body back out to a warrior two. From there, we'll just straighten the right leg up. Turn your feet in so now our feet are parallel or a little bit pigeon toe on the feet. Hands then come to the hips. We're gonna draw our shoulders back and down, heart lifted, take a deep breath in. And now exhale, fold from the hips, coming down to the legs. Relax your head and neck and then bring the hands to the floor. Feel a full deep breath. Now begin to just release crown of the head towards the mat, but not quite touching. So if your head does touch, you can always bring the feet a little closer together. Using full deep breaths now, spine relaxed. Just breathe deep into your stretch. Notice your head hanging out of the shoulders like a gigantic drop of water or a bowling ball sort of hanging from a long fishing pole. Some analogy I came up with. Good. Now with our next inhale, we're going to begin to tiptoe out onto the fingertips. The fingertips to walk us out till they're underneath the shoulders and our spine is nice and long. Feel the heart opening. From here, we're just going to take our fingertips and now tiptoe out over the right leg towards the front of the room. As you do, turn the toes forward and then bend the knees with our left knee to the ground. Now, if uh, you have sensitive knees or you need extra support here, you could fold this uh, mat so that you have dull protection under the knee, or you could use a blanket or a towel under there. Hands come onto the thigh with you, right? Sit the hips down. Let's just take a moment here, feeling the hips kind of sit straight down into the floor like an anchor. Shoulders draw back and down the spine, palms to the heart. You could stay here if you want, or you could also begin to maybe extend the arms back along to the ears into a crescent lunge for a few breaths. So the trick with this one is keep those hips and tailbones sinking down. And then with each breath, begin to feel like the upper body is beginning to really lift up and out of the hips, extending through the fingertips, and then exhale, maybe the arch a little more. So use those deep breaths. where you're comfortable. If this is as far as you want to come or you want to keep the palms to the heart, that's always an option. Let's take one more deep breath here. 
with QX, so we're gonna gently release, and now with control, straighten out your right leg. We're gonna bring the leg all the way straight, so knees kind of locked up, toes pointed up towards the ceiling. From here, making sure our left hip is over the left knee, you could just grab the ankle and move that heel a little forward or backwards, so we get this lineup of the hip and the knee. From here with leg straight, we're gonna begin to inhale our spine nice and long. Exhale, let's fold over the leg with control, head and neck relax, shoulders relax into the right of the arms. Use those breaths now, full and deep. Feel how the exhale will allow us to begin to come a little deeper, releasing out, store tightness or tension. Advanced option, eventually you could bring the elbows to the floor, not quite. Just breathe with it wherever you are. Remember that this is a journey. We're never doing anything towards a goal. There is no end result that we're trying to achieve. You know, this should be fun. It's just like a road trip. Just kind of finding our way, exploring through our own internal country, learning about it as we go. Good. Now with our next inhale, let's just bend that knee back of the ankle, so shifting forward. Knee over top of the ankle, plant your hands on both sides of the foot, and from here we'll come back into our plank. From here, once again, you could exhale down to the chaturanga or deep chest T. Inhale up, dog, we're cobra. And exhale back to the down dog. Fingers spread wide and take a deep breath. Feel those equal inner palms as the shoulders kind of draw down away from the ears, heels sinking into the earth. Good. Next inhale now, left leg is going to lift up straight towards the back of the room, lifting high. And exhale, swing the foot forward up between the toes. From here, we'll once again, just go ahead and turn out the back foot, cartwheeling up to our warrior two, inhale, and exhale, continue shifting back into reverse. Warrior. Same thing here, we're going to inhale that left leg to the reverse triangle, stretch back, and exhale, shifting forward, reach out through the fingertips first. Left hand to shin, ankle, foot, or fingers to the floor, right arm towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath here as you gaze up, and then we can exhale, arm along, so you're towards the front of the room. Then inhale, arm back up towards the ceiling. Then go exhale, reach behind, either grab the inside of the thigh or the fabric of the pants or the shirt, just kind of grabbing something there, heart lifted. Take a deep breath, and we'll exhale. Begin to now bend the left knee, gazing down. Step the back foot in a little bit. Preparing for a half moon again, fingertips about six inches in front of the outside of that left foot. When you're ready, shift the weight into the foot, the left foot, and bring the right leg high. Stay there, or eventually you could bring the right arm up as well. Again, just stay here until you feel good and balanced. When you do, you might begin to again turn the gaze slowly up towards your lifted thumb. Keep the breath full and deep. Challenge yourself if you want. You can always back off if you prefer. Remember, this is your practice. A couple more deep breaths here. Maybe that back leg comes a little higher. And with control, we're gonna exhale, bend the left knee. Maybe you'll swoop the right arm down this time and swing your body back up to our warrior two. Good, next inhale, let's straighten the leg. Again, feet parallel or a little pinky toes. This time we're gonna interlace the fingers behind the back, straighten the arms down. Feel this open the collarbones wide. You take a deep breath in. And exhale, let's fold from the hips, coming over the legs, relax your head and neck. Once your neck is relaxed, then we can also bring the arms up over the head for a few slow deep breaths and our wide legged forward bend. We'll make sure we keep our head and neck relaxed here. Just let it hang out of the shoulder. And try to keep an equal weight between the front and backs of the feet, 50-50 between the heels and the balls of the feet. Deep in the back. Next exhale, let's release the hands down. And from here, begin to tiptoe out onto the fingertips so that our spine grew as long. Take a deep breath. 
Once again, we're going to begin tiptoeing out over the left leg towards the front of the room. Turn the toes forward, bend the knees. Bring that right knee gently to the floor. Again, use support if you need. Fold the mat or blanket or a towel. Hands onto the thigh. Let's start just kind of let those hips sink into the floor deeply. Shoulders draw back and down. We can stay here if you want. Palms can come to the heart. Or if you like, challenge. We could begin to extend those arms again up alongside the ears for a few deep breaths and a crescent lunge. Tuck the tailbone, sit through the hips, and now once again begin to breathe as you're extending out through the fingertips until you can begin to grow that line a little longer. Feel that energy reaching back as you breathe. Open your heart. One more deep full breath. Step so gently, releasing down, we're just straighten out the left leg. Toes again, point up towards the ceiling. Take a moment if you want, move that heel a little forward or back so we have our now right hip over the left knee. Inhale, grow the spine long here. And exhale, full release. Spine relax, neck relax, and breathe deep into your stretch. A great opportunity just to kind of take a little break and these stretches once we've been kind of working a lot. Just let everything relax here. See if you can relax your neck a little more. Let it hang out. Let go of that unconscious tension we like to hold in our neck and shoulders. Breathe through it. Back on the top of your foot, plant the hands on both sides of the foot. Tuck your back toes, and once again, we'll come back into the plank. As you can now, vinyasa as you go, chaturanga or knee, stretch, chin. Inhale up, dog or cobra. And exhale back to the down dog. Fingers spread wide. Take a nice deep breath, lengthen out through those heels. Let go back. The next step, so I'm going to bend the knees a little bit forward. Inhale, walk forward. Look feet up between the hands. Coming out flat and back. Exhale, pull the legs. Let your head neck relax. Just take a moment here. Bring those big toes either touching or just close together. From here, we're going to bend the knees deeply. Sit the hips back. And when you're ready, swing the arms up alongside the ears into our chair pose. If you're in the chair, we'll just sit down deeply. Arms out straight, parallel, and then begin to really draw the shoulders, backing down the spine, lifting out the arm, and softly gaze up for a few deep, slow breaths. Focus on the breath. Maybe you can even sit into the heels a little more if you want to challenge. Lift the heart. And the next step, so let's stretch straight and fold back over the leg to relax your neck. Inhale the spine nice and long. And exhale, fold. Now bend the knees. Let's walk or float to plank and exhale, child on the knee, chest chin. Inhale up, dog or cobra. Exhale back to down dog. Fingers spread wide. Great job, guys. So now, let's go ahead and begin. Bring our feet together. We bring our big toes and heels to touch. And this time, we're just going to lift the right leg up nice and high, stretch up towards the ceiling. You can open the hips, stack the hips, and then maybe bend the knees. Find equal weight on both palms as you then stack the hips a little higher. Continue breathing deeply, heart opening towards the floor. Challenge, if you want, you can even begin to practice the drishti, the gaze here. Try to keep underneath the left, left arm to see if you can locate your right heel. Breathe and lift a little higher. Stack those hips up. Yeah, next step, so now we're going to begin to bend the knee forward towards the right wrist, ankle towards the left wrist. So you kind of bring the shin down somewhat parallel to the front of your back. Don't worry if it's not parallel, that's not a big deal. Left knee down, we're going to walk our left foot back a little bit. So you begin to sink hips into the earth. 
good idea to relax your right foot just to protect your knee. So once you feel your hips come down as far as they're comfortable, we're going to walk our hands around our front leg. Puff out the heart. Take a deep breath in. And with the exhale, slowly come down on that leg. First to the elbows. We could stay here. Or you could also walk the hands out to release your chest and forehead all the way to the floor. And just hang out, relax everything completely for a few deep breaths in our pigeon pose. Full and deep. Now, if this is too intense for you, you can come on the elbows, or you can let the hips fall out to the side. Either way. Whatever feels right for you, we'll just begin to really deepen that awareness all the way into our hips. You feel like your breath begins to help you release out any tightness or tension stored in the hips. Keep in mind that our hips and shoulders are two main areas of storage for tension and tightness in our body. Just relax and breathe. Our next inhale, we'll just begin to walk the hands back in towards the body, lifting the head and chest up over the hips. You can stay here for a moment. You can let the hips fall out to the side, or keeping the hips stacked, you could begin to maybe bend that left knee, reaching back with the left hand to grab a hold of the inside of the left foot. Make sure you're grabbing the inside of the foot so you help protect the ankle, knee, and hip, all the joints there. It could stay like this, so what we could begin to let the elbow bend and begin to guide that healing towards the body. Maybe you'll only come to here, that's fine. Or if you want, eventually you could begin to kind of bind the pose by maybe walking the toes down by pressing the heel of the hand into your toes. Or if you prefer, you could also try bringing that foot into the elbow crease and then bringing the left, right arm over the head, bend your elbows and grab a hold of fingertips. Again, these are all options, just advanced variations which you can try or not. It's up to you. Just breathe deeply here for a few moments. Let your heart open a little more towards the front of the room. Good. Next exhale, let's gently release the leg back. We're now just going to sit the hips out to the side. Take that left leg and swing it forward to plant securely on the outside of your right thigh. Now with our both sits bones on the mat, make sure we're securely seated down. If you can't bring both sits bones down, just go ahead and straighten out your right leg. That's another option. So now bringing the left hand flat down behind us, right behind the spine. Right arm is going to reach up towards the ceiling, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, bend that elbow deep around the outside of your thigh. Getting a good leverage with the arm here, as deep as you can. We'll then make a hello sign, lift the heart, and begin to deepen your twist. Gazing out over the left shoulder, using full deep breaths here. So with each inhale, our spine just lengthens up a little taller and straighter. With each exhale, you might twist around just a hair deeper. Feel how these deep breaths begin to work into the body, giving a nice massage to the internal organs and muscles. Twists are excellent prone postures or asanas to help us become more grounded and calm in body and mind. Take another nice deep breath in here. And with the exhale, we'll gently release around. Maybe a little counter twist on the opposite side if you like. Take a deep breath here. And then back to center. Good. Now let's just take the ankles to cross. I'm going to tuck the feet in underneath the hips, plant your hands in front of the body, and now lifting over the ankles, we can either walk or maybe float the feet back to plank. From here, you could again vinyasa or straight back to down dog. Whatever feels right for your body, your ears spread wide, lengthening through the heels, take a deep Good. 
And now once again, I'm going to bring our feet close together or touching. This time I'm going to bring the left leg up nice and high. Open the hips, stack the hips, and bend the knees. Try to keep the weight equal across both palms. And again, as you kind of lift that hip high, get a nice stretch into the hips. You could once again perhaps even gaze under the right armpit to locate your glass seal. Breathe deeply. Back a little higher. And the next exhale, let's gently bring that knee forward towards the left wrist, ankle towards the right wrist. Bring the right knee to the floor, and then once again, walk the right foot back as far as comfortable. Once you feel comfortable here, point the toes, hands walk around the front leg. Let's puff out the chest, take a deep breath in. So we begin to fold over the legs first to the elbows. Again, stay here if you like, or you can walk the hands out to release the chest and forehead all the way down to the floor, forehead on the mat if you're down here. Whatever works for your body, just finding a comfortable posture so that you can continue to breathe deeply. Whatever posture we're in, always want to be able to find the fullness of breath. If at any time, during your practice, you feel that you just can't breathe normally, and you're kind of holding that breath, just back off a little bit and see if you can find a deeper breath today. Remember that it's that full deep breath that begins to allow us to connect more directly into this moment, into one, your own personal subjective experience of gratitude in this moment. And now from here, let's again begin to walk the hands back in towards the body, lifting up your head and chest over the hips. Stay there if you like, or we can now bend our right knee. Maybe reach back with the right hand to grab the inside of the foot. Again, you can stay here if you like. Or we can begin to bend that elbow, gently guiding the heel a little closer, breathing into your stretch. Come up to that point where you begin to experience what is your edge, and you can maybe begin to dance with that edge play with it, rather than see it as some barrier that we cannot possibly cross, you could begin to just kind of play with it and see what is the reality of that barrier. Aware that our bodies are continually changing, continually adapting, continually moving at all times. You will always have an opportunity to kind of push and explore and change in new ways, taking a moment to do that consciously is extremely healthy and beneficial. Couple more deep breaths, really opening through the heart if you can. And now let's gently exhale, release the leg back. Again, here we'll sit the hips out to the side. Swing that right leg forward and plant it securely outside of the left thigh. Right hand comes flat down behind you. Left arm stretching out, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's bend the elbows deep around the outside of the right thigh, make it a low sign, and begin to twist. Full deep breath here. Once again, you begin to power those breaths deep into the body, allowing our spine to lengthen up a little taller and straighter. Exhale, you can twist around the inner deep twist. Using each breath consciously here to deepen our pose. on the other side, if you like, take a deep breath here. And this time, back to center. Let's begin to um, come up to your hips and hug the knees into your chest. Squeeze those knees in tight. I'm going to inhale, grow the spine up tall, the crown of the head, lengthen up. Exhale, we'll drop the forehead to the knee. Inhale the head back, look up at the ceiling. And back to center. Now let's just let the knees from here fall apart. Bring the feet together and bring those heels in as close as you can to the hips, preparing for our Baddha Konasana. Now I'm going to grab the toes of the ankles. You might take a moment to gently butterfly the knees a little up and down to loosen the hips. Taking a nice deep breath in, long spine. Exhale, let's 
Fold from the hips, coming over the legs. Let your spine grow long but relaxed. You might even take a moment here to line those elbows right up between the calves and the thighs, and then drop the shoulders to let you get a little more opening into the hips. Full deep breaths into this nice hip opener for a few moments. Feel the breath begin to move into the hips, helping us to release out any stored tension or tightness there. Next inhale, let's lift up our head and chest. And from here, we're going to take the first two fingers, and we're going to take those fingers for wrapping around the inside of our big toes and our yogi toe lock. Once you feel you have a good grip on the toes, we'll begin to come into balance on our hips and slowly find your balance. Let those knees come together first. Now, stay here as long as you need to feel good and balanced. When you do, you can begin to gently bring the legs out a little straighter in our bound approach. Heart lifted, shoulders drawing back. Take a few deep breaths here. Find that balance. Maybe you can lift the heart a little more. Just do what feels right here. Always coming to the place where you can do that first. Now from here, let's just let the toes releasing and bring the arms out parallel to the floor. So we're still balancing. You might let those knees bend enough that we can then shift the weight to let our heart open up. So feel like your chest is opening up and out. Throat is relaxed, arms out parallel to the floor. And then when you're ready, maybe challenge, you could begin to bring those legs a little bit straight. Breathing deep on our boat pose for five, four, that heart lift. Three. Two. One. Now let's try something inhaling the arms up towards the ceiling. Let's stretch up high. Excellent. See if you can bring the whole body down and inch off the mat. So just come inch off. Still balancing. Let's now inhale over the arms. Lift back up. And then let's exhale. Bring the whole body back up into the pose. Great job. Let's try that again. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale, bring your whole body just an inch off the floor. Inhale down, holding the arms, lift up. And then exhale, bring the whole, whole body back to bow. Great job, try it again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, come an inch off. Good, inhale, only the arms up. And exhale, back to bow. One more time, inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, come an inch off the floor. Inhale, only the arms up. And exhale, back to bow. Last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, come an inch off the floor. Inhale, only arms up. And exhale, back to bow. Last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, come an inch off the floor. Inhale, only arms up. Exhale, back to bow. Now just stay here for three more breaths if you can. If you need to modify, you can bend the knees in closer. Try to stay balanced for two. Lift the heart. One, and let's gently come all the way to the mat. Great job, guys. Now we're gonna bring our feet together, knees apart. Let's just reach over the head, grabbing opposite elbow in a goddess pose, and relax here for a couple deep, slow breaths. Just relax. You might let that breath move deep in the body, helping to release out any tightness or tension. Bend the knees back up towards the ceiling. Feet flat. Then bring the arms alongside the body. And with the feet flat, you might walk them in now until the heels are touching the fingertips. Preparing for our bridge pose. So notice the feet about hips distant apart, knees in line with the ankles. When you're ready, let's begin to now just lift the hips up towards the ceiling. And those hips begin to power up high, breathing deeply. Now you can stay here. You might also like to try interlacing the fingers under the hips, straight arms, and maybe even scooch the tops of the shoulders under the body just a little more to allow the hips to lift a little higher. As we continue deepening the breath here, you might even try kind of unclenching the buttocks muscles and see if you can continue pushing power up into the feet to really use those legs to lift the hips a little higher with three, two, Lifting up. One. 
Challenge, you could try full wheel. If you want to try full wheel, this means bringing the hands flat under the shoulders, fingers pointing towards shoulder blades. First, coming to the crown of the head to balance, and then all the way up. So listen to your body. Remember, your body is always the first teacher. Your body will tell you what it needs and what it wants. Bringing up the body, up off the floor. Bring your arms as straight as you can, gazing between the hands or between the feet for five. Even the breath. Four. Three, two, one. As you're ready to come down, let's tuck the chin and softly release to lie with a flat back. Great job. Let's lift them all the way flat to the floor and just hug the knees into the chest. And as you squeeze, softly rocking a little from side to side, massage the lower back. Breathing out any tension we may have created from our wheel. We are the great energizer and so is the bridge. Back there is helping to energize the body. Anyway, we'll come out from back to center. Hug the knees tight. Inhale the nose up to the knees and then cut ball. Squeeze. And then so out. Release those legs out together. Great job. So finishing up here, we're going to do a little uh, relaxing inversion shoulder stand. If you've had any recent neck or shoulder injuries, you may want to use the support under the shoulders, basically placing a blanket underneath the shoulders so that the curl edge of the blanket will be underneath the back, curl edge of the blanket, right at the top of the shoulder. So let's prepare when you're ready. Got legs together, arms up over the head. Take a deep breath to stretch long, and then bring the arms back along to the body palms, flat legs together. From here, we'll begin when you're ready by inhale, lifting our legs up, hips up, back up, and bend those elbows, palms flat on your back. Once you feel a good support here, we can begin to adjust the pose, maybe walking the elbows a little closer together, and then maybe even walking the palms down toward the shoulder blades to get the best possible support for the body. Palms flat, fingers pointed up towards the heels, legs straight together. Just breathe and relax. Find a very deep, slow breath here for a few moments. Shoulders stand one of the most important postures you can do for the body, having innumerable benefits, especially helping to bring cleansing and rejuvenating energy and oxygen into the rotation. Rotation of our thyroid and parathyroid glands. These tiny little organs, which are vital for the regulation of the immune system, the endocrine system, metabolism, body heat, and so on. So just continuing to breathe as deep, slow breath for a few moments. Anytime you feel the need to take a break, you can always maybe bend the knees down onto the forehead if you like, or you can bring the legs over the head and cross them. Otherwise, we'll just stay here for a couple more deep breaths, really clean, consciously. Okay, now with our next step, so we're going to bring our right leg straight over the head, toes towards the mat, and in the open. Back. Then exhale the left leg over the head, toes towards the mat. And inhale. But with control, when you're ready, both legs will slowly come together down over the head. If your toes touch, you could bring the hands flat or interlaced behind you. Maybe scooching the shoulders under. Legs nice and straight. Take a few deep, slow breaths here. In a loud pose. A lot and the deep breaths, getting the deepest possible stretch of the back, shoulders and Okay, now from here, we're just going to take these hands back, flat down the mat behind us, kind of like a runway to your spine. So take a deep breath, and from here, when you're ready, begin to exhale, gently roll the body back to the mat, one, Keep head on the mat, 
Exhale, head and chest come to the floor, legs apart, arms apart, palms up, preparing now for our final relaxation. Before we begin, you might just take a moment here, hugging the knees into the chest, and let your knees separate apart, reach up through the knees, grab the outside of the feet, and then let the feet separate into a happy baby pose. Bring the lower back as flush with the floor as you can, knees sinking down, heels up, take a deep breath. If you want, you can even maybe rock a little from the side, side, rocking Back to center. Let's bring our feet together to the floor. Legs apart. Arms apart. Palms up towards the ceiling. Preparing now for the final relaxation. Making sure the whole body is now comfortable so we don't need to move for the next few minutes. Just begin to let everything relax completely. Softening all the muscles, the joints, the skin. Facial muscles and eyes go soft and still and resting quietly with the deep peace and silence within for a few moments. Continue to rest in this deep, final relaxation for as long as you can. Feel ready, let's just begin to. Are you ready? Wiggle the fingers and toes, and then maybe roll the ankles and wrists. Ready, then arms to come together up over the head, legs together, and stretch everything long. Take a deep breath and stretch. Exhale now, we can gently release the body over to your right side for a moment, and then from here, we'll slowly. Bring our body up to a comfortable cross leg position. Keep the eyes closed here. Shoulders draw back and down the spine. Facial muscles relax. I'd like to thank you very much for the practice today. I wish you a beautiful day and a fantastic week. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to teaching you again in the future.